Hello, this is Dallas. Hi there. Hi. Hi. Do I have Kyle Richards on the line? Yes, how are you? I'm so wonderful, and you brought Dr. Christopher Starr with you, I see. Hello. Dr. Starr, welcome to the Valder Beebe Show here in Dallas, Texas. I want to thank you both for joining me today. Thank, thank you. you. Before I start with Kyle, I would like to know, for you to give us the medical understanding of what dry eye is, and then I'll talk with Kyle. Sure. Well, uh, chronic dry eye uh, syndrome is, a, is a, a condition that affects millions and millions of Americans, over 25 million to be exact. Uh, and it is a condition that many of us have. I myself have it, Kyle has it, and, and probably many of your viewers do as well. Uh, and it's usually uh, manifests as sort of a, a, an awareness of your eyes. In my practice, uh, there are a multitude of symptoms that I see regularly that I attribute to dry eyes. Uh, gritty, sandy feeling is most, most common, but chronic red eyes, sometimes even excessive tearing, um, uh, irritation throughout the day, waking up in the morning with bad stuck together eyes or very dry eyes. All of those things can be attributed to dryness as well as visual changes. You know, sometimes fluctuating vision, blinking to clear your vision uh, is often a sign of dry eye as well. Uh, and at the root of dry eye disease is actually an increase in ocular surface inflammation. There's a, an abnormal reaction on the ocular surface that increases inflammation. And um, so in order to treat dry eye effectively, you want to treat the inflammation. A lot of us use artificial tears. Kyle used artificial tears for many years. Uh, and most patients will reach for that artificial tear, or wash their eyes out to make them feel better temporarily. But the artificial tears don't treat the inflammation that I just mentioned. Um, there is a pharmaceutical drop uh, that was FDA approved about 10 years ago called Restasis, you know, which is an anti-inflammatory drop and has been shown to be very effective uh, at increasing, helping people to make more of their own natural tears. Does it just deal with the problem or is there something to cure the problem? Oh, that's a great question. Is there a cure? Um, and and that's the, the short answer is no, not really. The chronic, it's a chronic condition. Uh, and in addition to treating it with anti-inflammatory medications, there are a lot of other little things that people can do to make their eyes feel better. Artificial tears certainly being one uh, perfectly uh, reasonable adjunct to the restasis, drinking more water, trying to blink your eyes more when you're on the computer. All of these things uh, can help the eyes to feel better throughout the day. I want to talk to Kyle, but i got to ask you one more question. Sure. Can you be preventative in getting this? Uh, yes, I think um, there are some things that we can do when we're sort of younger uh, that can help uh, to reduce the incidence of dry eye or the severity of it, certainly. And that's what I just mentioned uh, when you're on the computer, blink blinking the eyes more often, staying well hydrated, eating a healthy diet, uh, omega-3 fatty acids seem to help with some uh, dry eye symptoms. Um, sometimes running a humidifier in the bedroom. Uh, if you're a contact lens wearer, which is a big uh, category for dry eyes, uh, making sure that you practice good contact lens hygiene, cleaning your lenses at night, throwing them away when you're supposed to. Um, and all of those things uh, can help uh, cut down on the severity of dry eye disease. Thank you so very much for that, that great information, Dr. Starr. You're welcome. Kyle, I'd like to talk with you. You're an actual sufferer, um, but you're on television, and I know this. Mm, how, do you, how do you keep this from uh, hindering what you do for a living? Oh, I need to mention you're on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. <laughs> Well, for me, you know, I was just constantly having to use the artificial tears, you know. You know, I would kind of duck under the table when I was filming to put them in my eyes or step away from the table for a minute. But whatever I was doing, whether I was at lunch with friends or, you know, working out or filming, I was constantly uncomfortable. And, you know, for me, I tried a lot of these, you know, drinking water. I thought I was dehydrated. I tried a lot of those things, but they weren't helping me. So I went to my eye doctor, and he diagnosed me with chronic dry eye and prescribed restasis for me. So, okay. Oh. Let me ask you this, and, and it may sound like a silly question. Why go public with this? It's, and it's not something to be ashamed of, but why tell other people? I think just to bring awareness. You know, for me, I would hear the commercials and think, I don't have that. I don't have that. And eventually I thought, well, this is obviously more than just, you know, an allergy or that there's a vent blowing because I was so dependent so I think just talking about it, because I think a lot of people probably have it and don't realize, and they don't have to walk around feeling so uncomfortable. I mean, you wouldn't walk around with a headache, so why walk around being so uncomfortable with your eyes like this? So. Okay. And as an actual uh, person who suffers from this, what's your best advice? To go see your eye doctor, or you can look at restasis.com and 
maybe you know I have, you have some questions there. There could be some answers there. So, but I think going to your eye doctor and having him look at you or her look at you is the best uh, advice I can give. Well, I want to thank you so much for talking about it, Kyle Richards, and I want to thank you, Dr. Stark, because you seem like you paid attention in school. You're really smart. (laughs) (laughs) Well, thank you very much. I want to thank you both for talking about something that people, I hear people talking about more and more. So thank you for being on the Valder BB Show. Thank Thank you. you.